Hey there everyone, Hatesh here back again with another video and in this video I want to answer a question and this question has popped into my email quite a number of times. The context always has remained the same while the persons, the format of the question always usually change. The question is really simple. What about writing the code from the scratch versus the products like uh, Wix, Thinkable and other product building stuff like you can drag and drop stuff can build app or you can drag and drop and can build a website So what's the difference and uh, which one you should pick up? Let's get started This email actually popped into my email and this is just a couple of days ago. It has appeared quite a number of times by different people. Didn't got time much to address this. So let me pick up this question first and it says, please make a video on using Scratch versus code for apps and website, Wix, WordPress. Can we say ourselves a programmer if we know a little bit code, like if we know how to use WordPress, Wix, etc. in a very good manner, Scratch material. Hope you like it and please answer this. So let me first address what this question is. Nowadays in market, there are a lot of builders, builders for app, builder for websites. And you might have heard about a lot of them, probably Scratch, uh, probably Thunkable, probably Wix, probably PageCloud. There is no like end of it. Uh, but again, there is a question always in mind that, hey, should I learn everything from scratch, like learning from HTML, CSS, and then moving forward from there for web development, or maybe in the end, right, should I learn Java, Kotlin, and move from a very scratch manner, or should I use just drag and drop builder? They can also serve the purpose. So what is the point here? Again, with this, I would like to make one more thing here that uh, this guy in the email used the WordPress here. Now, again, I would not like to compare WordPress with the Wix. I'll keep that on a separate topic because Yes, of course, WordPress is way better than Wix. And yes, I, at that exact moment, I lost my sponsorship from the Wix. Uh, but anyways, WordPress is way better than Wix. And that's a fact. That's a truth. So we're going to take that on some other day. WordPress is way different thing, way advanced and way complicated and stuff. So it should not be included in this video. So we'll keep that separate. Coming back onto the point where should you be learning writing code from the scratch, like basics, code material, or just use drag and droppable? First and foremost, let's face the harsh reality of the world. If something is super easy to do, you are not going to get paid to do it. For example, if somebody comes to me, hey, I know how to handle the profile pic on the Facebook, will you hire me? I would say, why would I hire you? You can just change it once if you're so good in that. And that's it, you should be gone now. Similarly, if something is super easy to do, you will not get hired to do so. The target audience of these cloud-based uh, things like uh, cloud, uh, Page Cloud or Wix and Thunkable is, is simply the audience, the specific field and specific genre of the audience who really doesn't care about programming and stuff. They just want a web page to be there that, that they know really for sure that I'm not going to visit it more often and probably others are not going to visit it often. They, I have something else to do. Like I'm a guitar artist who just always gets... Uh, gigs based on the call. So I just need a website so that people can just have a look and that's it. Probably they will never see it. So that's kind of a portfolio and all these things are usually kept on the website and they are their target audience. But we certainly know that whenever you are dealing with such things like web interface and all these things, they can be super powerful. They can be game changer in anything. Maybe that you are a guitar artist and all these things. But if you design your web page in a very creative manner from a professional, it can be a game changer for you. And these game changing things cannot be done with these drag and droppables. Another simple example could be, let's just say we at Learn Code Online support a login from Google and login from Facebook. And I just ask you, hey, uh, I'm getting good response from LinkedIn as well. I'm getting good following there. So should I use a LinkedIn sign up as well? So uh, please, in the next update of the app, we want to see the LinkedIn login and LinkedIn sign up as well. And then you come to me and say, hey, we cannot support that simply because it's not available in our drag and drop builder. That's not a good thing. That's not why people hire any other programmer. We want certain things to happen. We need to make them happen. So obviously, this is not a thing which you can do in drag and droppable. Of course, here some people will argue that these some of the drag and drop things allow you to uh, attach the things like Firebase and all these things. But remember, the actual power of this Firebase and all these things can only be utilized via programming, not just with any drag and drop and he's allowing you to put keys there and that's it. No, it doesn't really happen like that. 
I personally have seen some of the phases where somebody asked me to, hey, uh, I want you to design a website and that might be in WordPress or Wix. And then he says, hey, you know what? At exact this point, I want my social icons to come up. And if that site is on something like Wix or PageCloud, they don't allow you to do that because you're not allowed to be much creative, although they say that you can do fully creative work. But these are just templates that you're attaching or maybe some components that you're attaching. You cannot be like, go crazy and do anything anywhere. Surely it can be done in the WordPress and those clients, I have seen them that, hey, I just want to go away from uh, these builders and want you to design customized thing for me because I want that certain thing exactly there. And that is only possible if you have the core knowledge. Again, remember, it is really funny when somebody says, I'm a web developer and I know Wix. If you are calling yourself as a simple web developer even, the core basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is essential. You cannot skip that. And the most important part, if you're watching this channel, if you're a subscriber of this channel, there is something inside you that says, hey, I want to learn programming, I want to be creative, I want to design my own product that are way amazing, way awesome. And if you're a subscriber of this channel, definitely this thing is inside you. And this thing cannot be possible with these drag and drop builders, Wix or PageCloud or Thunkable. Remember, you are here to learn core programming and that is gonna be very good for you in the long term. Don't see the short benefits, see the long benefits. Learn the thing from the core way, go the hard way. Learn first the core essential part of programming. I know it's tough in the starting, but definitely it's gonna be good for you in the long term. Okay, so there goes my sponsorship from Wix and all these builders that usually approach our uh, YouTubers like me. But anyways, this needs to be talked in a very clear manner. So I highly recommend all of you that you should not use these kinds of builders if you are looking forward to become a programmer. Go ahead, learn the things in the hard way. Go ahead, learn everything from the scratch, from the code part. And yeah, they could have given me a good sponsorship, but it's gone now. From after watching this video, they won't be even approaching me. Okay, but who cares? Anyways, uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. In case you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, share this video with all of your friends. I will surely, surely catch you up in the next video.